Hey guys, so a number of you asked me to do a brushless whoop roundup and I'm just going to do the ones that are pre-built and 1S only. Uh, obviously there are 2S ones out there, other various sizes, and also there's a m massive world of custom builds you could do out there. I'm just not going to have the time to cover all of that. Um, there's just a few models out there that I think are worth looking at if, you, if you're looking to buy one or you don't want to build anything. And there's the two from Banga. There's the Snapper 6 and the Snapper 7. And I've reviewed both of these. And I've also reviewed the HB65. This is also a 65 millimeter brushless whip with a plastic frame. And then there's the HB75. I haven't reviewed this one yet. And then there were a couple people that were asking me to review the uh, Beta 65 Pro and the Beta 75 Pro. These are also brushless whoops. And there's some slight differences between these, so let's just look at the 65 millimeter ones. Like on, on the Happy Model Snapper 6, uh, the motors here are going to be, I think they're the 0603. Yeah, so the motors on here are the 0603 19,000 kV. And then on the HV65, these motors here are 0603 16,000 kV. And then on the Beta 65, here we have 0603 16,000 kV. So, you know, generally speaking, the flight controllers are going to be pretty similar. Uh, they're all going to be 1S. Uh, they're all going to obviously have FPV systems and stuff like that, uh, built in receivers, etc. Really, what it boils down to is um, the differences in, in motors and also the price. So, these, I've heard some negative stories about the beta FPV motors, the 0603 and the 0703 motors. I've heard that they're not that powerful. I haven't had a chance to review this, these models yet, the 65 or 75, so I have no way to confirm or deny that. Um, but I do know that the motors on the Snapper 6 are okay. They, they, they work pretty good, pretty decent power. Uh, the motors on the HP 65, I think, have a little bit less power than the ones on the Snapper 6. And there's a pretty significant price difference between these, so... You know, you're looking at uh, 128 for the HB series for both of these, and then for the Snapper, they're both 87. So that's like uh, almost almost forty dollar difference there. Is it really worth that much to you to spend the extra money? Personally, I wouldn't go for the HB series because they're just so much more expensive than the Snapper. I mean, it's at 87 dollars, it's a pretty good deal, I think. Now, I've also heard some stories out there that, that the all-in-one camera on here has got some issues with certain people getting them. Uh, I personally haven't had that problem. I've got the 6 and the 7, and my cameras work on both of them. So maybe there's a bad batch that has gotten out somehow. That sometimes happens. Um, I would contact Banga Customer Service if you happen to get one of those. Uh, they could probably send you another camera. I believe they sell that camera separately as a spare part. And there's also a number of other cameras that if you wanted to switch to a different camera, maybe a better one perhaps, you could easily do that because that's pretty easy to take the canopy off and swap that out if you want to. Now looking at the price of the Beta 65 and 75, they're coming in at 120 So a little bit less than the HB series. And I, I don't know if, the, if these are going to be that much better than the ones from Happy Model. So let's just say this is about thirty, about thirty-four dollar difference uh, between the Beta FPV ones and the Snap and the ones from Happy Miles. So uh, you know, I don't think you're going to be getting that much more for that for that amount of money. It's like nearly forty percent more uh, to get the Beta FPV products. And how much different is it going to be? Obviously, you're dealing with the metal hoops here instead of the plastic ones. I think the plastic ones are going to be a little bit more durable if you happen to crash a lot. Um, I think the frame on this on the uh, Snapper series is more stiff so the tuning is better. Um, there's also a version of the 6 Snapper uh, 6 called the UR65 that has the plastic frame. Okay so this is what the uh, UR65 looks like and you can see here it's got the same kind of canopy. This is white instead of that transparent red, but now it's got the um, a plastic frame here instead of the metal frame. I think the motors are a little might be a little bit different. These are yeah, these are 0603 17,000 kV on the Snapper 6. They are 0603. I think they're 19,000 kV. 
you know, the uh, the motors on the Snapper 6 are 19,000 kV. So the motors on the UR64 are a little bit different. They're a little bit less kV, so you might get a little bit more flight time, but not quite as much power. But it's got the same flight control around it, the Crazy F3. Um, basically everything is the same, except for the motors are a little bit different. And you have, the, you have the same canopy, same flight controller, but just a plastic frame. So, and this is even cheaper. This is $84. So, you know, if you're looking for, um, you know, something even uh, even cheaper, the, this one at $84 is a pretty good deal. Although right now it looks like it's um, sold out and uh, looks like uh, not the wait till it comes back in stock, which is in, looks like June 14th. So it was in stock for a little bit. And, and uh, I think I mentioned it to a few people, maybe, that's why it's sold out now. I think a lot of people might have snapped it up when it first came out. That's a pretty good price. Anyway, that's going to be my recommendation. I think I think you're going to have, you should probably go for the Snapper Six or the Snapper Seven uh, if you're looking for a brushless whoop. Um, if you don't like the metal frame, then then check out the UR65. I think that's probably these are, these three are going to be probably your your choices. And it's mostly based on the price. You know, the way a lot way a lot less. And, uh, you know, I don't think you get that much more for paying additional money for the, the Beta FPV products or the HP uh, line here. So that's going to be my suggestion. Uh, you know, if you, if you can get these at this price, assuming there's, there are no issues with the cameras, et cetera, I think that's a good deal. Um, now, if you guys have any other uh, brushless whoops that I missed here or that are 1S and of the, this sort of size, uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm not looking for, like, 2S, 3S, 4S uh, brushless whoops, just the 1S ones, the lightweight ones. They use the the small like 250 to 450 milliamp hour 1S lipos. I'm pretty sure there's not a whole lot else out there. And if you know of anything that's even cheaper than $87, I would definitely be, would be like to know that so that I could let people know about that. But this is about the best deal that I could find. And at this time, uh, end of May 2018, I think that uh, this is probably going to be your best bet for a brushless whip if you want to get into them. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.